What's up everyone? This is Who Cares the Hunter. Here's a little video about the new longbow that came out today. So we want to see how we need to aim at the different uh, distances and then we want to take it out in the field and see how it performs. And here it is. So this is the new bow. It's a, a wooden longbow. It's a very nice looking bow. It's a very natural uh, looking uh, wood and uh, the best looking arrows if you ask me a very nice fletching uh, and the red serving there so this is what it looks like so I've done a few uh, test shots already here at the uh, at the range and let's see how we need to aim so this is the 10 meter target so for here I need to aim a little bit low and then I'm pretty much in the middle of the target so this is for small does uh, roe deer that come really close that uh, you can you can get so close to so that's how you aim so just a little bit below the target once more and if you shoot from the side you should be hitting the lungs from even a, uh, a red fox looking at the 20 meter target you go a little bit up so this is just slightly below the actual target is where you aim so I think the bow is really nice to shoot at 20 meter targets probably even easier than 10 meter targets especially for larger games such as elk or, or moose so 10 meters 20 meters doesn't seem to be an issue now we're going at 30 meters and here I have to ha aim up high already I'm above the target and this was even too low about here yeah. one more So these are risky shots already. You can see how they distribute much more. And then looking at the 40 meter target, this is just uh, pretty much luck to hit the target. I have to go way up in the air. This one was pretty good at the target, but as you can see the bow is shaken. Uh, at the low skill levels and you can tell I've been practicing but if you do this out in the field and especially if the target is moving if the animal is still walking this is not really to do ethical shots at, at your animals so this went pretty well but you, you can tell you can see um, aiming like this uh, is not what you want to do maybe uh, you can do a few shots here and there just for fun but um, not really for uh, if you want to do this on a regular basis you want to keep the animals down to 10 or 20 meters so to me like said 20 meters just aim over the arrow and you're right in the middle so let's take that bow out in the field and see how it performs so here we are it's a beautiful morning here at loggers point and we want to take out the uh, longbow into the field and play with it so here it is and off we go well that's pretty cool that buck is like ordered I called him up and said can you be here at 10 I want to test the new bow
and if he's so kind then uh, calls let's call him back or call back and uh, and then see how the bow does so before making this video I've shot uh, moose and I've shot roe deer at Hemeldal uh, roe deer were no issue at all uh, moose you really have to uh, hit the lungs if you only hit the body you will have to go for a follow-up shot so it's not the strongest bow there there he is and uh, for all those white tail hunters uh, put your tent out here in the far eastern corner of Log Loggers Point there is a white tail many many times when I start here uh, it's got white tail, it's got coyotes, some pheasants so a little tip on the side so uh, let's wait until he comes closer wind is not an issue here uh, we're looking west and the wind is uh, pretty much coming from the other side so we don't have to worry that the uh, buck is going to smell us and it's a really tiny buck so it's a small score it's gonna come really close if uh, if it was a large score a large buck, buck then uh, it would be much more cautious, it would could even see me when I get up now so we're about at the 20 meters and as you can see at this distance aiming is rather easy he's still running though so I'm not sure if I have hit any vitals it was a long shot we can uh, penetrate the lungs from the front so the first test on white tail is looking pretty good one thing that I noticed when I uh, went out for uh, for roe deer uh, when shooting roe deer that were close I could hear others in the far uh, in the distance run away so they spooked from maybe 50 60 meters out so apart from not being the uh, the strongest bow it's also not this the most silent bow there's another doe so maybe we can try this one from a little bit further away let's let's shoot this doe from 30 meters and as promised there's a coyote so good place for coyotes and actually I want to shoot that coyote so just good I brought the collar So where are the, where can we do the 30 meter shot? Okay, so if I go to these rocks, if I can even make it, maybe I'll spook the dog. But let's try it. the doe is actually still following my call when I called the buck that's why she's still coming here and the coyote is not showing up quite yet which is good so we can get to our to our place here here's the rock
they seem to take longer now these days to 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 run to the calls but um eventually he'll come there he is he or she is alone so there's not a big chance for for spook and sometimes when there's a pack or it's actually called a band if a band of coyotes is coming some might come to close and then they spook it's an average size male I'm going to lay down here and then just wait for it to come to the final target So it should end up at about 30 meters away. And it's not giving me the sight, so this is going to be a little bit harder. Let's see if we practice enough. It was a hit, and likely it's going to die, but not immediate unfortunately so shooting a, an animal in the back is is not the best way to do it but we didn't have any options ninety five percent health so it was just a little damage that it did so let's see how far we have to run to pick up that coyote. But I have to say it's really fun, it's really <laughs> hard to shoot so when you hit uh, the reward is even bigger it was coming down here apparently uh, so there's mixed tracks from it coming and, and now running so let's see if we can find it oh there's a feral hawk That will be another challenge, maybe for another day. So here we are, we're still looking for this coyote. When I uh, picked up the first track, the first blood track, uh, the meter on the hunter mate said 317 meters, and now it says 1000 and plus meters. So we've just walked 700 meters so far, including some searching for the next track, and there it is. Oh, and that's why. It's a really bad shot, but it penetrated the animal, went right through it. But oh well, I hit it, and 700 meters later, I can uh, pick it up. There's another coyote. Oh, he's right ahead of us. I will let him trot past me and uh, hide there behind the rock. Sometimes they come in in an arc so he could actually come much closer to me and, and see me still but let's try. Here he is already. I 
and with coyotes you really have to wait until they stop they come to the spot they turn around walk a little bit and then they stop this is very close he might actually see me when I get up so I really like the 20 meter shots this seems to work out really well immediate kill this one too far out plus they call the police so we'll stick to the animals so there's a number of pheasants here um, and I want to see how far way the animals will spook, how far the other pheasants will spook. So I wonder if I shoot this one then this guy here will certainly flee. But I wonder about the guy over there. So let's see. Oh, there's another hen that could actually spook everything. So one here, one here, one here so shooting this guy spooked almost everything except the bird over there or the two birds so we can actually measure here and there's another one so that makes it difficult but 60 meters there was a bird flying away 70 meters he is still there so I'm thinking maybe 50 meters is the radius by which animals uh, or at which animals can, s can hear the shot so this was our little field trip my personal conclusion is I think the bow is not the strongest it's also not the most silent bow but it's definitely a lot of fun to shoot it's very challenging and uh, it's it's hard to hit the target uh, it's good fun so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you later take care and of course thanks for watching